neuroinflammation. So some of the symptoms are even things like depression, anxiety. It kind of depends on the region of where your brain is inflamed, but depression, anxiety, fear, panic, even things like dysautonomia or the inability to regulate your autonomic functions, your, your heart rate, your blood pressure, uh, some other slow recall, poor memory, brain fog, just like, uh, 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 any of those things could be signs of neuroinflammation, dizziness, tinnitus, headaches, of course. Now, these are some of the signs and symptoms. What we do about it is a whole other ball game or, or a whole other question to ask. There's a lot of things that can contribute to that. But if you have any of these brain or neurologic symptoms, there's a likelihood that you have some degree of neuroinflammation, and there might be some strategies that might be able to turn down that neuroinflammation by looking deeper through a functional medicine.